The second question we usually get is why don't we use golf ball dimples, which everyone knows makes golf balls a lot more aerodynamic. So they must make everything much more aerodynamic, right? Well, I will try to answer this question next. To understand why, let's look a bit in detail at what happens with the air next to an object. If we have a smooth sphere, we have air traveling next to it. We call this the free stream velocity. It turns out that if you look close to the surface, you will see that the velocity decreases as it gets closer to the surface. Up to ne right next to the surface, it has zero velocity. This profile we call the boundary layer. For a rough object, we also have a boundary layer. But because we have dimples or any other obstructions, they cause the air streams to start mixing. And this is how the boundary layer is going to look. The free stream velocity is the same as before. But now we have faster air getting closer to the object, slower air going further, and just all sorts of air mixing. Right next to the object, the velocity is still zero, but the whole profile is a lot faster, especially when we get close to the object, this air has more velocity. We call this the turbulent boundary layer, and we call this the laminar boundary layer. Generally speaking, laminar boundary layer has less friction than turbulent, because in the turbulent case, we have fast air getting very close to the object, and because we know air is sticky, it causes higher friction forces. But it turns out the turbulent boundary layer has a very good property. If we look what happens as the air tries to come around the object. When the air comes around the object, from the widest point further, it starts slowing down. So let's see how the boundary layer would look. So what we have here is the same boundary layer from before, but we slow it down by a certain amount. So we move the entire profile backwards. Because the velocity here is quite small, if you move it back, you will notice that the air starts moving backwards. That means the air will start moving in this direction. That is where the separation point happens. And we saw in the previous question why separation is bad. So for a smooth object, that would happen roughly here. So we have all this area separated, so we're dragging a very big column of air with us, which we know is bad. However, this boundary layer has a much higher velocity, closer to the surface. That means if we slow it down, in order to get this point where the air starts traveling backwards, which we call the inflection point, we have to go a lot further down the object. Let's say down to here instead of here. Which means that the separation area is a lot smaller. So this object drags a smaller column of air with it than this object. This is why a golf ball with dimples travels further, because it drags with it a smaller column of air. Okay, so why don't we use this? This is how the Aerovelo ETA shape looks seen from the top. As we can see, we have a tail section here which is designed to allow the air to come around on both sides and come together at the back without having any separation region. We are able to do that because we can choose whatever shape we want, whereas a golf ball has to be spherical, so they can't put a tail on it to make it go further. We can. So we have no separation. That means there's no reason to have a surface treatment like dimples that helps minimize the separation, because in our case it's already zero. We actually want to have as big of a laminar region as possible. This entire front region is designed with a profile that keeps the boundary layer laminar for as long as possible. Once the boundary layer encounters a disturbance like 
a small wave in the surface or a, a seam of a door or a scratch, it usually turns turbulent and there's no way to turn it back. So we designed this region to allow the boundary layer to stay laminar for as long as possible by making it very smooth and giving it a proper profile. At some point here, the boundary layer is going to trip and become turbulent anyway, and we are not worried about it creating any sort of separation. So as it turns out, if your object is a sphere, it's likely going to benefit from having dimples, but if your object is streamlined, so it has no separation to start with, there is no reason to put dimples on it.